Are you curious about what are the best dating apps to use in Europe? I've been living here for almost three months. I've been dating like crazy. And these are my findings. I mean, obviously as a black lady, but also I think that these are just like blanket statements for dating in Europe, especially if you're not from here. So let's dive in. Also, hi, my name is Shayna. I talk about travel, accessibility, and astrology. So if you're into any of those things, like, share, subscribe. And anyway, let's talk about these dating apps. So right now I'm based in Barcelona, so there's three big contenders when it comes to the dating space here. Hinge, Bumble, Tinder. Let's start with the least, the last, and the lost, Tinder. Tinder, you know what it is. You know what it is. If you wanna hook up, if you want odd conversations, um, it's, it's pretty much, it, it is what it is. I haven't used it, some of my friends have used it, they have, they have confirmed that it is what it is. And some of my friends that have used it are also black ladies. And they're like, yeah, it is what it is. Now, personally, I spend most of my time on either Hinge or Bumble, but you will get two very different audiences depending on which one you use. So if you are using Hinge, for example, Hinge will have a lot more people from the United States actually. Um, there are a couple of Europeans that use Hinge. It's growing in popularity right now, but as of right now, right now, you will find a lot more Americans that are traveling or that have moved here, but mostly people that um, are traveling when you use Hinge. So if you're down for that, Hinge is where it's at. I personally enjoy using it just for funsies. Um, I like the layout and stuff if you're not familiar with it. I think that it's like it's fun for me to make my own profile on Hinge. I've enjoyed making my profile there more than in other spaces. But once again, you do tend to find a lot more people from the United States there. Now on the other side, you have Bumble. And Bumble is where you will find a lot more Europeans on the dating apps. And personally, I'm really preferring Bumble here way more. I never used Bumble when I was in New York. Here I'm using Bumble significantly more and I think that it's incredibly helpful, especially when it comes to figuring out who is just traveling through town and who isn't. There's a travel mode that comes up at the bottom of a Bumble page where if somebody's from another country and they're only here for a short period of time, it doesn't necessarily say how long the period of time is, but if they're just here for a period of time, it will say, hey, I'm in travel mode, which is super helpful for me as somebody who like has been based here. I do have to go back to the States for a little bit, but I am planning on returning. So um, once again, I personally have been using a mix of Hinge and Bumble, but it really does depend on what your personal preference is when it comes to dating and who you want to be seeing between those two. So those are my thoughts. Let me know if you agree, disagree, if there's any other apps that you would recommend to people while they're in Europe. Um, I would love to know, especially when I return from the holidays in the States. Um, and also let me know if you're curious about like what it's like meeting men in the wild here. Because it's, especially if you're from a big city in the United States, it's very different. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're curious. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.